guys, it's your girl Miss Lee here. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you are. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, the likes button, and the notification so that you are aware every time your girl drops new content. Also, guys, you can follow me via social media. I've put the link across the screen. I told you guys, give me a few days. So it has been a few days and I've managed to catch up with episode two, three. No, I watched one and two, three, four and five of Blue Therapy. I still think they're acting. I still don't think it's real. I don't, I don't, I don't. But you know what? Because your girl's a good sport, I'm going to play along. I'm going to play along. It's cute, you know? Something to do. It, it, it kept me entertained in the afternoon when I need to look a bit entertaining and supposed to be working and thinking you get me your girls. Anyway, scrap that. And my opinions, I believe they're still the same from my previous video. Anyway, uh, okay, so this last time I started off with Ch Choma, I think I'm saying her name right now. Last time I started off with Choma and Paul, and now I'm going to start off with Deborah and Jamal. <laughs> so Deborah and Jamal, they're a young relationship, they're a young couple. I get that um, some people get married and um, they settle down quite quickly, quite, you know, when they're young. However, Deborah, both Deborah and Jamal don't come across to me as the settling down type when you're young. Like, I feel Deborah needs to um, go swimming and catch a few more fish because she needs to grow and she needs to, as I said in my previous video, she needs to gain a lot more experience because she needs, girl, you need to mature. She needs to mature. Someone needs to call her and tell her that. Um, Jamal, well, in episode five, I kind of knew anyway, and I'm gonna get to why I knew, but Jamal, again, Jamal is not ready for the kind of relationship that Deborah's saying that she wants. Even not ready for that yet. Mm -mm. So the first thing, Deborah is saying, Jamal, I want to meet your parents. I want to meet your parents. You met my family. I want to meet yours. You know, um, they've been together for a year. You, you would think that he would have introduced her to, yeah. But anyway, he hasn't. Um, red flags. What? Why is he hiding you? He's hiding you because he's not sure you're the one, Debs. I'm not know if it's you, if you're a good girl for him or not. And again, we now know that because of episode five. Relationship and you have got to the point where you feel you want to introduce to external family members um, or intermediate family members, whatever which way you are and call it. Have that discussion in it. Babe, I want to introduce you to so and so and so and so um am i going to meet so and so and so and so if the response is i don't think that should happen right now honey honey that means i'm not ready for what you ready for you girl nope so you know what put brakes on things and slow your roll okay i think with deborah again because she's still immature i'm not talking about immature as a as a um in other aspects of her life, I'm talking about relationship wise, because, and there's nothing wrong with that because I saw a lot of what I used to do in her. Um, she will grow, she will grow. She will grow to see certain signs and certain man behavior. And she ain't gonna be rushing and doing no introducing to nobody because man ain't shit, yeah? I don't care how much bags and Gucci bag and, and Louis Vuitton bag in Bayar, if you can't be genuine, you ain't shit. So he come up with some excuse that she's too loud. To me, Deborah doesn't come across as loud. Deborah comes across as confident and she knows how to hold a conversation. She doesn't come across as being the, she would be the loudest in the room. Um, but if she needs her voice to be heard, I'm sure she knows how to do that. She does not come across as loud. And again, is this a cultural thing? Because my man's Ghanaian and she's Nigerian. And to me, I mean, I have Ghanaian and Nigerian friends. And, you know, Ghanaians think Nigerians are very, very loud. They, they do. They do. Um, and, and Nigerians just come across like they're the best anyway. <laughs> so I say it, go. You know, I say it, go. We have that. We have that in the Caribbean. Same thing. But I don't know. 
I just feel that that was an excuse about her being too loud so he can't introduce to the parents. Is it that the parents don't want him to come home with a Niger girl, huh? Huh? Is that what it is, Jamal? Huh? What, what, what accent was that? Anyway, I feel that maybe he believes that his parents want him to come home with a Ghanaian girl, a nice Ghanaian girl, huh? Yes, that's what he, he thinks his parents want, his parents want. Maybe that's why he hasn't introduced her. Or is it that, as he said, he's introduced baby before and they're like, you know what, you know what, me tired ain't no, you know. Next time, listen, bring home the one. When you meet the one, bring that one, come. Deborah also kept going on about my man and his phone. I have to laugh a little bit because do you know what? She reminded me of myself. I was like that around her age group. Um, Deborah seems like the type of girl she's going to be digging up things. Yep, yeah, that was me. She's going to be digging up his phone, digging up his yard. Yeah, that was me. She's going to be digging up his car. That was me. She's going to be on his social media. That was me. She's going to be intercepting his social media accounts, breaking passwords, changing passwords. Yeah. Well, I didn't change passwords, but why would I change passwords? And obviously I'd get caught, but yeah. With age, darling, you understand that you don't need to do that. One thing I have definitely tapped into and I understand, I appreciate and I respect and I'm so grateful for is my intuition. A man will tell a woman that that's rubbish, it's all in your head. Are you crazy? Look, you know, look what Jamal go and spill. Hmm? Him at the things, him at the things with him ex bolts. That's why it's like he's very casual. He was very casual. He wasn't into her. I think she definitely wants more of a relationship than what he's willing to give. He ain't into her like that. He was too casual. He's too casual because my man's got his eyes elsewhere. And another thing, he told her that he likes her sister. I would a hey, the man couldn't sit next to me and tell me that you know after me done him, yeah, after me done him. I don't want to say what else I would do because, you know, I don't want to promote violence or anything like that. But you think you could sit down next to me and tell me that you like my sister? Are you mad? So, I knew her comeback was so crap. Oh, yeah, well, I've, I've joined OnlyFans. Because, you know why it was crap? Because she never came back and said, anyway, your girl's on OnlyFans. I'll be looking cute. I'll be making my money. I'm about that life. She came back and said, uh, well, I joined OnlyFans. But I'm never going to use it. Don't worry, I'm not going to use it. I just joined it. <laughs> B, that is not a comeback. That's quite shit. That's weak. That's weak, yeah? If you join OnlyFans, yeah, see it true. See it true, yeah? Say it with your chest. I joined OnlyFans. Enough man want me. Oh, wow. We know when he's saying he's your first man that he ain't lying because you would know how to handle him. You don't know how to handle him, Deborah. My man also lied about going to Afro Nation. <laughs> My man lied about going to Afro Nation and was acting like he was gonna tell her. That would probably be that would probably be a, a deal breaker for me because why is that something that you would not share? Unless you're planning a surprise like surprise and and no no jamal best not come with that crap because he wasn't trying to surprise her yeah why would you not share that i find that really strange but <laughs> i can't find that strange about jamal's behavior because we're not saying jamal cannot be trusted mm -hmm. i still think he's acting though the way deborah behaves she is either she's scripted or yeah She's scripted. She just, she, it appears that what she's saying is very scripted. And men's behaviour can make a woman come across insecure. Sorry, I just had to check my toenails. I thought I smashed the bloody nail. But anyway, men's behaviour, they will make you feel that you're insecure. She's not insecure. Something was telling her something wasn't right, Jamal. And obviously... She was right. Her feelings, her intuition was correct. It was spot on. And me believe say, him and the girl just sit down in a car and chat for four or five hours. Who's going to sit down in car and talk for four or five hours? I don't want to know what time of year this was because who's going to have their car engine running for four or five, four or five hours to keep themselves warm? Hello, my dear. Bolt. Oh, I'm training my ex. Training your ex. You couldn't even tell me that. Anyway, 
Anyway, God knows why he put certain people in certain people's lives. Because at this stage of my life, it's ex. You can't, can't tell me that, my youth. You can't tell me that. But yeah, true and ex. Do you know what? She'll have to get back. What's the reason why she's your ex? How long ago was this ex? Jamal obviously had something to hide and he finally cracked and, and he didn't even crack. He was like, well, you can't. <laughs> if that was acted though, Jamal, that was good. Bravo, bravo. Because it, that looked like it was hard for him to get it off his chest. But he did say it. Yeah, he said it. He said it that. He said it that. He, he, he kind of, um, he kind of, Something happened between him and the um the ex. But me want to know what. So obviously next week's the finale. So we'll get to know what oh, Guandessa. Everyone needs to understand from when a man is really possessive over his phone. I've been there. I've been there. I've been in a relationship. My man's gone toilet and he's taking the phone with him. Yeah? My man's sleeping. If I even breathe in the direction of the phone, he wakes up. Yeah? So if a man is so perceptive like that my man had something to hide yeah he did mm-hmm mm-hmm and i don't want to tell you what i did when i found out i was searching for for concrete evidence because women we live on the possibility of maybe i'm wrong and no you're not wrong honey you're right he's a cheat he's a in my dotted dog the fact that he doesn't have boundaries no he cannot control over the t the time when somebody else messages him but he can say to her ear what yeah i'm a family man or my woman don't like it or can you not message me at certain times or if you're a true businessman you would have a business phone and you would turn your business phone off yeah businessman i've got my own business i got clients across the pond yeah t lock off your phone my youth or you tell the girl don't message me them hours there has to be boundaries yes business is some businesses are do run for 24 hours because he was like well business never has a turn off yes it does yes it does everyone has a, a, a turn off as shop shop shut because yes it does because you can't do shit at one o'clock in the morning but you can at nine o'clock in the morning so yes it does have shop shut time so jamal's chatting i Shit. think he's I taking think... her for a fool and she needs to take control of the situation and say hey, my old, oh, yeah, do. in fact she just needs to just with again jamal is not that man for you honey i don't know why he brought her to the show if this is real life he he brought you to the show because he knew that you was the only one that will come that's what i think debbie anyway moving on swiftly uh paul and choma Choma. Now, last time I was like, I think Paul's a little bit narcissistic. But uh, after watching this uh, last few episodes, ha! Me not think so. Me not think so anymore. Me know. No, Paul comes across as very nar narcissistic. He, um, he comes across as someone who does not take accountability for his own actions, for his own wrongs. At no time did he apologise to Chuma, Chima, Choma. Choma, it's Choma, it's Choma. At no time did he apologise to Choma about calling her fat. First of all, she's not fat. My girl is what we would now call thick. She's not even thick. I think her bottom half is, she's curvy. She's got a beautiful figure. People pay for that figure. So what's his problem? But yeah, but do you know what it is? <laughs> Let me tell you what's Paul's problem actually. I kind of understand now. Paul has now, he's one of them people, I'll tell you what we used to call them back in, I don't know what they're called now, but back in, no, I'm say back in the day like I'm old, we're not old. Paul's one of them people that he uh, adapts, that he changes his life according to his audience. So he's now moving in circles such as uh, the high flyers in the heart of town and um in, he he's forgotten who he is and where he come from peckham is no longer good for him and pounded yam definitely is not good for him my man eats steak and steak alone my man counts his calories but 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 but, 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 but my man don't like whiskey whiskey i mean i'm not a in-depth deep afro beats fan i love afro beats but i can't call out like loads of artists names i can only give you like the commercial artists but he's got a problem with whiz kid. Mm, I, and this is why I think it's also acting because most 
especially Nigerian men, I think he is, yeah, especially Nigerian men, they're very proud of where they come from. And it's like, with Paul, I get like he's kind of like thinking things up on the spot. Like with regards to the food, he then brought up that like he used food for comfort when he was depressed and he became overweight. And bruh, you're three years deep into this relationship and you failed to tell your woman that. Hey, hey, yo, Imkan Akina, Imkan Ak, even if it's a real life scenario and they're real couples and this is a real life therapy session, that part was still an act. It was a big. Even if he was uh, overweight, why didn't he tell her that information at the time? Like, babe, I'm watching my calories. I don't want to get back to where I was before. You know, it's been a journey for me. You know, I use food to comfort eat. That means they don't, they don't communicate. What do you talk about in your home? That Choma is a beautiful girl. See, I got it right again. She, I keep saying she's a beautiful girl. She comes across as intelligent. She's about her life. I just think she can do better than that at this stage of the game. So... Yeah, so back to what I was saying. He's one of those guys that literally changed his life according to his audience. So he's um, around high flyers. He's no longer a Nigerian heritage man. Yeah? He says, we live in London. We're British. <laughs> but Paul, Paul seems to forget that pounded yam. That palm, palm oil. Is it palm oil? I don't know what it is exactly because I've never used it. I'm not Nigerian as you guys know. But I don't know. But that palm oil, I think that's what he said. Um, the gel of rice and everything else is what brought you to this part of your life, Paul. It's what helped grow you. Because I'm sure your mother cooked them ting and gyo. Yeah? So it's what helped grow him to the, part, to the point where he is now. What's the problem with it? It never killed him. So what's the problem with it? Okay, it made him put on a few pounds. It's called in moderation as choma said you eat these things in moderation on a sunday i cook my caribbean my west indian food on a sunday without fail yeah it could be stewed chicken it could be curry i love a chicken it could be curry chicken it could be curry goat anything mutton rice and peas is a must and my kids are like oh every sunday rice and peas yeah it's a must yeah so why not embrace that? That is a culture that you grew up on. I'm sure, I'm sure Paul grew up on that. Why would he not embrace that? Because he's forgetting where he come from. Don't worry, he will receive something that will remind him real quick that he's a Nigerian boy, yeah? Oh. I bet his name's not even Paul. But he changed it to make himself look more so I've got a little bit disrespectful I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie now I was in a relationship before where I had an issue with uh my partner's ex-partner's uh sister but boy she was really disrespectful on, on camera though and, I like <laughs> and you know what Paul is the biggest shaper going you know why because he's got all this mouth yeah but when you put it to him because because Choma put it to him yeah she, he said you're a she said a your sister's a bitch what well you know like that kind of uh, and pull to mute you think that my man can sit there and tell me that my sister is a bitch after me done him after me done him in my for what quote again like what he did in uh episode two in my for what quote she called his sister a bitch and then he used this scenario if you i love my niece and nephew or whoever his sister's kids and you know and and if you love me you would love them says ooh says, says ooh <laughs> they're your family not mine bro <laughs> fuck that shit no if i'm having the sister's picnic try and know that my man has to be in the yard too to be looking after them because it's uh, me on my own looking after what while she's in living her best life my name is Nanny. Y'all must say mad. Paul should not come to that assumption that just because they're his family, she should love them. People, some people don't even love their own family. What makes you think that she's going to love yours? She doesn't have to. She's not obligated to. She's not obligated to be your sister's babysitter, um, pal. I actually feel that he looks at their relationship as kind of like a, like she's like a trophy. She looks good on his arm. I don't believe he's given her a hundred percent, and if that is a hundred percent, no sir, me want a refund because 
he doesn't show that he loves her. He got a little bit, you know, she she does everything. She not she does everything. She's good to me. She did it. He spoke a little bit, but it was all about him. She's now building a brand or building her business. She's got a guy to help build her website and help her with her business. My man's now jealous. Paul, what are you jealous of? Oh, because this guy did a thing with your ex. No, that's why I think that's acting. You made that whole shit up on the spot. Because if Paul was genuine about that, you would have said, as soon as the guy came into the the, the, the proximity of trauma, Paul would have been like, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> he never said that. He allowed it to continue. He allowed for trauma to take up her good, good money and pay the man. Yeah? And now he's saying, I don't want her to work with the man. No. Because what he's realised is that the man can do good work. And he probably feels a little bit threatened. So he's probably, it's kind of like um, bruising his ego a little bit, you know, just hurting it a little bit. And that's the thing, he's very, um, he's definitely an alpha male. And he, he definitely is, you know, he's going to be the man that rules the roost. But you have to be able to talk the talk and do the walk. And that, I mean, I think Sam can do that. Miss Sorry, I mean, I think Sam can. When you're not pleasing your girl in the bedroom, darling, you're not, you're not talking to talk and walking the walk. Now, I've never been with a Nigerian man, but I hear that they're very good in the bedroom department and they really enjoy it. So, Paul, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Maybe not all the time, but everybody wants to have sex. And if this person doesn't want to have sex with you no more, red flags, yeah? I'm not saying that he's a cheater. I don't think Paul's a cheater. Paul don't come across like a... Paul comes across as a bitch. Paul can't cheat. Paul cannot cheat, yeah? Mm -mm -mm. but well maybe well actually how else how else is he getting his stimulation money is his stimulation money is pool stimulation sexual stimulation another thing can someone just tell him how to do a tie that tie was way too long it was irritating me someone told him how to do a tie he's just so unapologetic about his rudeness he continued to be rude to denise i mean i'm surprised denise didn't walk out I'm surprised she didn't walk out. He continued to be rude to Denise. When Ch when Choma started crying in episode four, when he was calling her fatty, which I didn't think was a big deal because she looks better than him. I would have said to him, bitch, I look better than you. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Sit the fuck down. Maybe you need to put on a couple more pounds so you can look good. Because that bar leg, it, it, it's not doing nothing for me. I mean, I mean, that's, anyway, she, just, she, she, don't, she does know how to handle him, but she just needed to just run his club out. Well, she put her weird. Hey, anyway, when she's like crying, instead of him owning and apologising for upsetting his partner, he turned around and said to Denise, Denise, stop, I think you're making it worse. <laughs> this man does not take responsibility for his actions at all. He blames everybody else but himself. And that will be his biggest failure because you cannot grow and learn if you do not acknowledge your own errors. We're all imperfect. We're all imperfect. So if you don't acknowledge your own areas to then correct them, how are you going to grow? So, and again, I don't really see there's love. I, I think he sees the relationship as part of his brand. So, my summary. Both couples need to go their separate ways. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to watch the last episode. But I do believe both, both couples need to go their separate ways. I don't believe... Paul is the right man for Choma, from what we've seen. And definitely Jamal's not the right man for, for, for Debbie, for Deborah. Jamal ain't got the money for Deborah. Jamal is not trustworthy. Jamal is very immature because he likes to sit on social media. Jamal lies. Jamal lies. Yeah. Oh. And Jamal doesn't even want to introduce her to his parents because he doesn't think she's the one. That girl needs to take up her, her, her Louis bag. What bag does she have on? Was it What bag does she have on this week? I don't know. But she needs to take up her designer bag and go. She needs to go. As for Choma and Paul, until Paul's ready to... Paul is not for Choma. Until he's ready to show her love and actually display some form of affection because he, he even failed to do my girl was crying he failed to do that he then just turned around and said denise look what you've done 
he needs to understand how to communicate. He does not communicate at all. He's, I'm not saying Choma's perfect, but it sounds like she's got her ish together. And I feel that he he feels threatened by her, uh, and possibly by her, and possibly by her possible success, which is why he doesn't want her to work with nobody. And um, he needs to to work on that. And he needs to take accountability for his wrongs. How can you have a man that doesn't want to have sex with you? That just doesn't make sense to me. Paul, Paul brought up that, that Choma was a little bit of a slaggy baggy when he met her, but, 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 but. She did explain that quite well. Like, she had a kind of a little thing out there that she had a little link. But then when she realised that actually she wants to take it further with Paul, she put the link to one side. So Linky got dash with and she focused on Paul. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Girls got needs. And if Paul don't mind sharp, she's gonna go find back that link, yeah? Because when her nanny gets wet, he ain't doing nothing about it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Have you guys been watching? Let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below, please. Also remember guys, please subscribe to my channel. I need your subscriptions. Please hit the thumbs up and the notification. And until next time, you will see me soon. Bye.